I'm Anil Kumar and here is another video on integration by parts. Now these are our first few videos on this topic. So as we move along, we'll kind of remember what we learned in previous videos. So in integration by part, we are normally finding integral of product of functions. Here the question is evaluate integral of x square e to the power of x dx. So we have two different functions. Now we have to make a choice which one should we select as u which is to we find derivative of and the other one which we are going to integrate so at times we say we need to differentiate a part and we need to integrate a part so how to split that up we have learned that we could use this acronym uh, which is l-i-a-t-e right where l is for log this is inverse functions algebra trigonometric and exponential functions. Now in this case, exponential functions will be kept with the integral part. They don't remain, they remain same. They don't really simplify when you find derivative of, but this algebraic function will simplify. So we'll write u as x squared and the integral part will select as e to the power of x dx, right? So once we have done that, uh, let's find what du is. du is 2x for us, dx. And when you do integration of this part, we get v equals to e to the power of x, right? And now we can write what the integral of this using the formula for integration by parts, right? So let's do that. So now we say that integral of x squared e to the power of x dx is equal to so we'll do product of these two right that is uv product of these two so it is x square e to the power of x take away integral of these two right integral of these two so it is take away integral of these two which is e to the power of x 2x dx so let me write this as 2x e to the power of x dx correct so that's what we get. Well, again, we have product of two functions, as you can see. So we may have to again apply the integration by part. So this is what I meant by saying that at times you may have to repeat this process of integration by parts, but ensure that as you apply this again and again, you get simpler and simpler integral part. That's the whole idea, right? So Again, we'll make the substitution, and this time, uh, well, you can take two outside, or you can just keep it with this. Uh, we'll take u as equals to 2x, and dv as equals to e to the power of x. So now du can be written as 2 dx, and v is again e to the power of x. So we can we'll do second time integration by parts. We'll get x squared e to the power of x minus. Now this minus is out, so let me put a big bracket here. Now let's focus on this. We have to again apply this formula. So that is to say product of these two take away product of these with integral sign, correct? So that is what we will do. So product of these two is 2x e to the power of x take away integral of these two, which is 2 e to the power of x dx, right? Does make sense to you? So that is what you get. Now we can actually open the bracket. We have x squared e to the power of x minus 2x e to the power of x minus and minus becomes plus, right? And what is integral of this? 2 is a constant. We can take it outside. Integral of e to the power of x is e to the power of x plus c. So we get our result, right? So, so that is how we could do it. So that is our expression. Uh, so what you saw in this example is that you may have to do this a couple of times. So you may have to repeat integration by part. at times right so but the idea is any number of times you repeat it becomes simpler and simpler 
uh, to find the value. So eventually you get your answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.